And welcome back to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win cousin was from Joshua Dunn, who asked the question, Who would win a fight? Solid Snake versus Chris Redford from the Resident Evil Game series. Solid Snake's eyes from the Metal Gear Solid series. I'm not going to go really too in-depth on this. Just because, not that, not that I mean that I won't go over some stats and abilities, but to me, this isn't one of those matches where you have to go into every single thing they've done, every single, um, uh, you know, achievement they've achieved, uh, because they're very similar in many ways, because they're both kind of, you know, like the top soldier kind of guy. Uh, Solid Snake is obviously the, um, lead of the Metal Gear Solid series. There have been different members of the Snake family, from N Naked Snake to Solid Snake, but Solid Snake is usually the, the main one that we focus on. Uh, he is a, you know, he's a master marksman, he's a master, uh, you know, uh, hand-to-hand -hand combat, combatant, super stealth, oh, super stealth, uh, highly stealthy. His eye patch actually does hide a, uh, enhanced, uh, like a, um, mechanical eye for enhanced vision. It's not that he himself actually needs it to see. It's just a, you know, it's a gadget. Um, he is, ext he's extremely skilled. He's, he's saved the world numerous times from, uh, metal gears, which are basically giant war machines. Uh, Chris Redfield is, uh, let me actually get Chris's box. Cause I'm not, while I am familiar with solid snakes, Chris Redfield is actually a bit more obscure to me. Uh, so Chris Redfield is an American operative in the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance, or which he has served since the foundation of it in 2003. Redford has built up and dedicated his career to destroying big organic weapons and fighting against pro producers and sellers of bioweapons. After his experience of bioterrorism in 98, he's the older brother of um, terrorist slave member Claire Redfield. So, I mean, yeah, he's similar to what... Um, uh, solid is in terms of what he does. Uh, he is, though, I believe, a good couple years younger, if I'm not mistaken. Well, Solid Snake is depicted around 40s, although he does age rapidly, uh, just because of, you know, the super soldier stuff. Um, he is also, again, extremely capable, extremely skilled. Uh, has also helped save the world on multiple occasions. In that, and there was an evil case from bioweapons. Um, which, you know, like the zombies, all that. So, I mean, this is a kind of a Sophie's pick, uh, Sophie's choice, pick your poison kind of scenario where both these guys probably on any given day can win. It's kind of the Sam Fisher Solid Snake thing where both of them probably could have won on any day, but in death battle, uh, it was Solid Snake who won the fight. I'm also probably gonna have to go with Solid Snake as well. Despite the fact that he looks older, he doesn't, he's technically not as far as I know. But, or at least not by a huge margin, but he's clearly had a serious amount of experience that has stayed with him. He, he, what's the best way to put it? He has more, mm, I don't want to say he has more in-person experience dealing with these things than Chris does, because I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Chris does with the, deals with these things face-to-face -face all the time. But I think the threat, even though the bio threat is severe coming from what Chris has to deal with a lot of time, I don't think it trumps the immediate world destruction threat of this Metal Gears. So, and then if you get into the actual, you know, hand-to-hand -hand experience, all that, uh, I think Solid probably has the... Because Solid was designed more as a super soldier than Chris was, to the best of my uh, my knowledge. And I think that play it has to play a factor in it. So, really, even though it's a short one, I'm going to go Solid Snake. I mean, it's going to be, you know, it'll be a lot of back and forth, but pretty evenly matched from what I can tell. But Solid, I think, just has the upper hand in the semi-superhuman physique. Uh, a different type of experience, but still a, a large wealth of experience nonetheless. And uh, better technology on the side as well. So, ultimately, I go Solid Snake. But who do you got? Solid Snake or Chris Redfield? Let me know in the comments below. I do apologize this is a short one, but frankly, I don't know much about these characters really give an in-depth analysis, even looking up their stuff. And they are two kind of mirror images of just one another to some degree. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, though. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. I'll be back with What If in a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.